Malvina Schwartz was out as a lesbian in the 1930s in New York City, though she changed her last name to Kent early on, since it was difficult for Jews to find work in the city in those years. After time in military service, when she played a trumpet in a military band, she began using the first name Buddy, and began working as a bartender. She soon began performing as a boy or male impersonator in various chorus numbers using her name Buddy Kent, most prominently at Club 181, a gay speakeasy which featured men and women in drag for patrons who would come to see the shows, and she began traveling around the city and country with other shows performing her dance routines, generally wearing a top hat and tails with tap shoes on. Buddy developed one particular famous routine when she would start out in her male costume and during the number strip down to her female undergarments, switching her name from Buddy to Bubbles. Buddy considered herself a lesbian Fred Astaire in her own words, and she stated that she learned routines by watching Broadway musicals and taking a few dance classes. In the 1950s and 60s, she bought out part of an establishment called Club Three, and she did quite well as a club owner along with a few friends, continuing to perform, and worked there until the advent of television, when people stopped going out for live performances as often. Over the years, Buddy considered herself an exotic dancer, and she performed in many mafia-owned clubs around the city. Later in her life, she did interviews about this time in her life, about knowing Eleanor Roosevelt, about working for the mafia, who would provide protection to their drag kings and drag queens working for them, as it was often common for men and women to get attacked for dressing like the other gender. And the Mafia would buy off local police so that they wouldn't raid the clubs as often. Some of the women who worked for the Mafia became strippers or prostitutes, but there's no evidence that Buddy did so. She was also acquainted with some lesbian performers who were informants for the FBI or other government bodies during the World War II and Cold War eras, which drew much attention from people like J. Edgar Hoover and Joseph McCarthy over the years. Buddy spent the last decades of her life very quietly, working as an x-ray technician and remaining in New York City until the time of her death.